boys and girls, and welcome to Bible Study Fellowship. I'm Miss Kelly, and I'm here to tell you a story from the Bible. The Bible is full of God's true words, and today we're going to tell a story from Revelation 8 and 9. We're going to be talking about sin and how God forgives sin. Can you guys pray for our story with me? Let's pray. Father God, thank you so much for everyone here listening today. We just ask that you open up our hearts and our ears so we can hear your true story. And maybe one day we'll be able to share it with someone else. And we ask all these things in your name, Jesus. Amen. O is for obey. O is for obey. Obey is doing what God says. And O is for obey. Can you count with me? One, two, three. The city of Nineveh was so big. It took three whole days to walk through it. Lots of men, women, and children lived in the city of Nineveh. Lots of animals lived in the city too. The people of Nineveh, they did what they wanted instead of what God wanted. They disobeyed God. This is called sin. Sin hurts people, and sin hurts God. God doesn't want his people to sin. God had a plan to stop sin. But guess what, boys and girls? God loves people even when they sin. God decided it was time to stop sin in Nineveh. He decided to send people a warning. God sent a man named Jonah. Can you say Jonah? That's right. Jonah was there to tell the people God's plan to stop sin. God said to Jonah, get up, go to the city of Nineveh and tell the people the words I tell you. So Jonah, he went to Nineveh and he told them God's plan. Jonah shouted, after 40 days, Nineveh will be destroyed. Destroyed means all broken. God has all power. So he can do whatever he wants. He is omnipotent, which means all powerful. The people of Nineveh heard Jonah and they believed God. They believed they sinned and they were sorry for what they had done. Even the king of Nineveh believed God and he told the people, everyone should stop hurting each other. The people of Nineveh were sorry for sinning. They stopped doing what they wanted and started doing what God wanted. God warns people so they can turn to him and be forgiven. God is happy to forgive people and God did not destroy Nineveh because he forgave them. One day, God will stop sin forever. Let's see if you guys are paying close attention. I have a few questions for you. Okay, first question. Who has all the power? God, that's right. God has all the power. All right. Who loves people even when they sin? Right again. God loves people even when they sin. All right, last one. Who forgave the people of Nineveh? That's right, God. God forgave the people of Nineveh. God forgives us when we sin. Bible verse time. And today's verse comes from Joel 2.13. And the verse says, return to the Lord your God for he is gracious and compassionate. And gracious and compassionate means God forgives us when we sin. And remember, sin is doing what we want instead of what God wants. So let's sing that to... Happy birthday to you. Okay, so we're going to sing, Return to the Lord your God. Return to the Lord your God. Return to the Lord your God. For he is gracious and compassionate. Joel 2.13. Can you guys do that? Let's try it together. Return to the Lord your God. Return to the Lord your God. 
Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and compassionate. Joel 2, 13. You guys are great singers. Okay, since we're talking about sin, I thought we would sing Trust and Obey. Because the people of Nineveh, they had to turn away from sin and obey God. So let's sing Trust and Obey together. Can you guys go get something to, um, I have this right here, this little, uh, holder for my grandkids toys and I'm going to use it like a little drum and you guys could get something to drum on or maybe get some sticks but get something to make some noise so that we can make some joyful noise and um, sing this song right okay let's go we're going to sing trust and obey the people of Nineveh did what they wanted and not what God wanted right trust and obey for there's no other way to be God loved the people of Nineveh even when they sinned. Let's do it again. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. And God forgave the people of Nineveh. Let's do it one more time. Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy. to trust and obey. Wow. Thank you guys so much for coming here today and hearing God's true word. I'm Miss Kelly and I'll see you next time.